Hi, everybody. Meteorologist Joe Chaffee, weather in five, five days and five minutes with this coastal low that is going to be uh, moving uh, northward from off uh, the southeast coast of the U.S. to somewhere east of New Jersey and south of uh, southeastern New England. This is probably a good time to download my free weather app, uh, Meteorologist Joe Chaffee, on Google Play or on the App Store. And also download Angry Ben's free weather app called the Angry Weatherman, and that is available on Google Play. It is not yet available for uh, iPhones. So uh, we are going to be dealing with this uh, coastal low. I think for the most part, this is going to be far enough offshore so that uh, problem issues are going to be confined to the immediate coastal areas as far as gales are concerned. Uh, there will be some minor to moderate coastal flooding to contend with. This is not the next st Sandy. Um, I, we don't do weather hysterics here, just to make that clear. So please don't go forecast shopping and then message me to tell me what other people say. I really could care less. I put out there what I think is, is going to happen. If that's not enough for you, then I think you just kind of need to go elsewhere with respect to getting your weather information. All right, so I'm just going to leave it at that. And let's uh, take a look at what's happening today. We had a cold front come through last night. And as the map refreshes, you can uh, see that we do have uh, radar echoes uh, showing up uh, in uh, parts of southeastern Pennsylvania, back over into Maryland and extending into southern New England. There's a little bit of spotty light rain going on. Temperatures have cooled off. And then we are starting to see some uh, radar echoes uh, off the coast. Uh, this is, by the way, as of mid-morning. So obviously, if you're watching this on a replay later today, you might want to check the latest radars and from your local National Weather Service office by going to weather.gov, or you can also just check out the latest uh, radars on on the website on my website or on uh, my weather app. But uh, all of this is going to start moving north northeastward, and we're going to get into some of this uh, for later on uh, tonight. Now, here's uh, what it looks like on the satellite uh, today. Getting a little bit impressed here with the uh, blow up uh, of the convection that's occurring right down in this area here. The Hurricane Center is still, by the way, mentioning the fact that we could see um, this uh, acquire subtropical characteristics. But if you'll notice, there's two areas of bright white cloud cover. You've got this area here, and then you've got this area that's developing up to the north. So there seems to be uh, two lows that are in play here. Uh, that uh, one, the northern one, and then you have something that's possible here. I've been calling it, this is the parent low that's off the uh, off the Carolina coast. And this is the, uh, uh, what we would call the child low, uh, sitting uh, east of Florida. So eventually, I think this low that's east of the North Carolina coast really becomes the main deal here. And that's what we're watching with respect to um, causing uh, issues. Uh, the uh, weather today, not really going to be unmanageable. There's just a little bit of spotty rain. There's not a whole lot going on. So we really don't have a whole lot here to worry about. So let me just show you how I think this all plays out. I'm using the German icon model because this has a lot of maps available to it. And I think it's probably the one that uh, comes closest to uh, what I believe reality is going to be. And as we move through the day, we're going to start to see these winds increase along the uh, New Jersey shore and off the south shore of Long Island. We'll probably have uh, some uh, gust to gale force during the day on Wednesday. And you see where the low center actually is. It's pretty far out to the east. Uh, this is not a landfalling hurricane. Uh, so uh, to make comparisons to landfalling hurricanes as far as what the outcomes are concerned is a little bit on the ridiculous side from what I what I see. And this is going to take days to get out of the way. It's going to be pinched in here to the coast. The strongest winds are going to occur Wednesday night into Thursday. I think the strongest winds are going to be for southeastern New England, back to about Long Island, maybe touching the New Jersey shore. Uh, as far as gales are concerned. And there might even be some wind gusts uh, for from central and eastern Long Island coastal areas on eastward of uh, 50 miles an hour or more. That would not be uh, a shocker. But you'll notice that the low, the surface low, rotates in a, in a counterclockwise um, fashion and then starts to move 
uh, out to the northeast by the time we get to Saturday. In fact, later in the day on Friday into Friday night, those winds are going to go around to the north, and that should uh, start to alleviate uh, tidal concerns. The full moon is Sunday, so while tides will be increasing, tide heights above mean low water will be increasing as we go uh, through the uh, uh, next several days, they really don't peak until uh, early next week. So that is a, is a positive. And the other thing to emphasize here, as far as rainfall is concerned, the, the low being where it is, the western edge of the rain doesn't really get all that far. So this first surge that comes through late tonight into Wednesday, early afternoon, that makes it to western New Jersey, easternmost Pennsylvania, and of course the coastal areas to the east and southern New England. The subsequent arms of moisture are going to have a tougher time. Uh, we get some heavy rains that rotate in from southeastern New England and over Long Island, and then they weaken. So if you're inland, if you're in, in, in Pennsylvania, if you're down in Maryland, uh, even back down into Delaware, I'm thinking you're not going to really see very much out of this. Uh, it's uh, primarily for the um, central and north Jersey coastlines uh, to Long Island with the biggest impact, I think, that's going to be from, say, eastern half of Long Island and particularly for southeastern New England. And then once this low gets kicked out, uh, as we go through uh, Friday night and Saturday, weather conditions will be improving later in the day on Saturday. Maybe you get some breaks of sun, and uh, Sunday is looking like a nice day. So, look, there's a lot going on here. So if you want specific weather information, you can message me on my weather platform on Patreon. That's patreon.com slash meteorologist Joe Chaffee. Patreon is spelled P-A-T-R-E-O-N. Uh, I will uh, more, be more than happy to answer uh, any questions. You can message me directly, and I will uh, respond in a timely manner. Otherwise, you will you can get the information off my websites or um, off of uh, the weather app, and you can always go to weather.gov for all the latest weather information. So everybody have a great day. Thanks for being here at Weather in 5. We'll have our regular YouTube live stream at 7 o'clock Eastern Time tonight. Patreon members, you will get your weather in 10 later today after we get the morning models to cycle through and the European out for late this afternoon, and we'll go over uh, what we think is going to happen. Uh, and that's, again, on my Patreon platform. Thanks for being here, folks. We'll see you tomorrow on Weather in 5.